Can you hear me now? <laughs> All right, folks, uh, we're about to start. And uh, before we do, uh, just want to say hello to everybody. And I'm so excited that uh, so many of you showed up today. And uh, we've got some things, a couple things planned here. I'll give you a, a quick rundown of what we've got planned. Anybody that would like to come up and share a story about Eli or, or anything like that, we can do that. And then we've got some music. Uh, I call myself a closet guitar player. But uh, thanks to uh, Eric Holmland and Dwayne Gould, who are much better musicians than I am, uh, they've gotten me to come out of the closet. <laughs> so, so we've come up with some songs that we were, uh, thought were appropriate for the day. And we know that you're going to be kind to us and applaud and and say that we're pretty good, because you have to do that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and then we've got a slideshow that I put together. Uh, as most of you know, I uh, we've been to a, a funeral down in uh, in Florida immediately after Eli's death. That uh, so gratefully that Karen and Ross Daly were able to join us there. Uh, from there, uh, Dustin and I and his mother went to India. And uh, we had a ceremony there and uh, left Eli's ashes in the Ganges River. And, and recently, about a month ago, we went down to West Virginia uh, where Eli lived and uh, we had a ceremony there. And as I've been telling many people, they were all just incredibly powerful experiences. Uh, <laughs> I'll get through this. Um, Take your time, Jack. And they were. But I haven't had a chance to share time with my friends. And this is that. So, so we'll do the slide. Uh, the slideshow is a wrap up. And uh, I'm going to make it through, okay? And. Uh, <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so anybody, I know uh, got a couple people that have volunteered to do some readings that uh, were done, things that were written by other people, but if anybody has a story they'd like to uh, share about Eli, uh, let's do it. So uh, anybody want to step up? <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. Let's start it. I just want to share something briefly about uh, Eli and what I saw in Eli as a young child and how he took that to uh, Krishna Kitchens and, and was so successful with that. My name is Greg Smith. Um, my wife went to college with Jack and Carmen, and uh, so we have been college buddies and, and from from uh, the uh, way back when, and uh, we each had two boys and uh, when we'd get together we'd spend full weekends together we'd go camping um, Fish Creek, Oak Brook, Oak Island uh, would be uh, canoe camping, mountain biking uh, whatever and uh, it would be quality time because the, the, the four boys would be together uh, for a full weekend and, uh, and long weekends sometimes uh, Eli was the oldest, and uh, my my older son was a year younger than him, so he really looked up to Eli. Uh, Dustin and Matt were, you know, tiny, and they just kind of went along with whatever. And uh, so they'd get out the light swords and the He-Man stuff and start playing, and uh, and Eli would always. I, I just can picture that twinkle in his eye. He'd, he'd say, mm, okay, uh, let, let's do this. And Doug would, sure, you know, let's do that. And the, the two little guys would go right along. And so Eli really had had uh, a, a good time uh, maneuvering how these guys were were, uh, were playing. And I, I, I was thinking about that when I learned how much Eli had done with Krishna Kitchens, how, how much... Uh, organizing and how well he had developed Krishna Kitchens uh, in his his line of work. And I was thinking, you know, he got that from way back when he was a little kid, at least uh, at least with these four guys. Uh, he was he organized them and did a great job. So it's 
kind of neat to think that uh, he started back then and, uh, and was doing great things with Krishna. Jack told me just recently he's been receiving um, emails from Eli's friends. And this was a letter that came to Jack electronically earlier this week. Two days ago. Two days ago. And it was moving. And uh, I decided I would offer to read it <coughs> for Jack. Hello, Mr. Drury. Please accept my most sincere condolences regarding your son, Eli Drury. I was moved to contact you after reading a father's tribute that you posted online. I was just recently made aware of Eli's passing when notice of his Saranac Lake Memorial was sent to me by a mutual friend of ours named John Niederbuhl. John Niederbuhl. Eli, John, and I went to Saranac Lake High School together. Eli was very good friends with folks from the art room and instantly became someone who I thought was very interesting, even provocative. He may have been younger than I, far exceeded my ability to accept being different. He may have been younger than I, but far exceeded his, my ability to accept being different. Okay, Eli and I became friends through art after school R&R and after school r and &R. I saw him as a true and free spirit. He was kind, generous, smart, sincere, and passionately interested in things. I witnessed him create some of his very first one page, for lack of a better word, a better word, psychedelic pen work doodle masterpieces. <laughs> there were moments of genius in those pieces, I assure you. I personally struggled with coming out of the closet. There were very few people I could look up to in that regard around that time, but Eli was someone who represented an openness that is required of such a task. When I put the example, he set to practice, the process became natural. Life wasn't necessarily easy for our ever-growing and evolving group of friends, but we had each other and we became stronger individuals and better human beings as a result. Eli had a way of making people feel safe and that each of us possessed a rare and valuable gift. Eli's persona had a way of rubbing off on those around him in a very positive way. He seemed to find strength in honesty, which I tried my best to emulate. Reading a father's tribute was very emotional. You have a great voice. I can see where Eli got his charm and sincerity. I can see where he got his caring nature and respect for the unknown. I'm proud to learn that Eli went to great lengths to feed people. It's a primary task, one that radiates beyond the moment, because society has an unfortunate habit of moving past those communities who struggle with that basic human need. He was a leader, and his actions were altruistic. I have an old photograph. It includes a group of us after a particularly rousing music concert. It was shot in the early morning hours on the beach in Old Orchard, Maine. We're standing arm in arm with huge smiles on our faces. It was one of the best times of my life, and I owe it to Eli for showing all of us how beautiful life can be when simplicity dominates. Thank you for humoring my ramblings. With love and respect, Daniel A. Bruce. Don't know. I'm Jack's big sister. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>